Welcome to Date Night Podcast. A tabletop role-playing game podcast set in the homebrew world of Volunaya. Let's explore a whole new world together. Last time, you guys had just finished basically coming back out from the Drake Tunnels, where you had been ambushed by some drow, and you discovered Henna had been found out by these drow as she had been delivering you messages about the movements of the humanoid troops in the mistress's armies. I think the letters you received said that there was a commander that had been, or one of the drow told you, I think, that there was a commander who had been bossing them around and told them to kind of go in, and they were supposed to sneak up during the middle of the fight through the Drake tunnels and assault things from behind or assault the Raven Tree. I don't know if you exactly heard what their plans were. You also learned that there was going to be a big assault at dawn where the main majority of the force was going to come crashing kind of through the gate, but they were holding something in reserve and said they were going to attack in the east when people were otherwise engaged. You guys went out to the wall right before we stopped playing as dawn had already broke and saw kind of this forest of spears of these orcs marching in step toward the wall. You tried to break them up. Uh, This is sort of picking up on the new part of the narrative. You try to break them up with out expending maybe too much energy, but with fire bolts and arrows and musket shots and things, uh, eldritch blasts, maybe javelins, things along those lines. But it doesn't seem to thin them out. This is not the haphazard assault of beasts throwing themselves against the thorned wall. This is a actual military unit. And again, the majority has broken off and went to the gate at a much quicker clip than you expected them to be able to move. You hear Philium. The Goliath from the temple at Anara's Peak, as he's straining to lift a stone into the Magdal, and eventually you hear it launch out into the main column of these orcs and makes them scatter just a little bit. You do see as they're closer, it pretty much is orcs in this, but there's also a giant troll in their midst. They have a cave troll. (laughs) Uh, Troll in the dungeons! So the first wave was about 150 strong, but like 10 or so wide in this big column that crashed in toward the front. So I've placed you guys here. So you can take out 150 more clothes pins to put on our initiative That's right. chart. Would any of you not have been at the main fray before I kind of figure uh, and, and talk about what it's like when this stuff crashes into the gates, I guess would be my question. I mean, that tracks for Aaron. Yeah, I feel I like think we're all there. We're all there. Okay. Kira? Trixie? There? Yeah. Okay. So um, how it happens is, again, every assault so far has sort of been haphazard. You've been able to break it up so that it's sort of slow and things come in two, three at a time maybe. But this one crashes through the gates with uh, vengeance. Mag, uh, the old orc from the Grizzards of Weiss, who's flanked by Lena um, and the other orc who had made the trip through the Raven Tree with Dern and Trixie from Firecliff, uh, step in front of the line um, that's pouring through the opening, and she sort of arcs over toward the side of the map that's closest to Amy and Eva. And she slams her staff into the ground, and there's an eruption of spikes that rips open the ground and rips and tears at the middle of this column, breaking the ranks and leaving some of them temporarily stranded outside the walls. The others are trapped, uh, some others are trapped amidst the razor sharp thorns of vines that link together like uh, almost like a punji pit or spiked bamboo pieces. Um, you hear the boulder from the Magnal crash into what's left on the outside. And Kairos, who's flying behind the rest of you there, one of the mages from the Mage College of Silver's Blessing, throws down an ice storm just outside the gate where people can't get through where the thorns are and the hailstones start pummeling them, making it difficult for them to move as they try to break them up. But that doesn't take care of the ones who did get through in front. Um, It all happened at once. They ended up breaking through your lines, scattering you a little bit, A few of you who were actually up on the walls instead of looking through the gap in the walls um, are momentarily safe. Uh, Some may try to climb up there. And we have um, rolled initiative because there's so many things on the map. 
So that's where we're going to pick up. Would, so what would, you see here... Would we have gotten a short rest uh, between last encounter and this one? Don't think so. Okay. I think you guys rushed out of the <clears throat> underground okay. uh, after quickly looting the bodies and went straight to the wall. So did I get to drink my Winston water? You said you did. Cool. And that, that didn't take long. That was just a minute. But a short rest would have taken you guys considerably longer. Don't forget your hit points are up from Trixie's Magical Mansion. Yeah, remember you still have the effects of Hero's Feast active, oh, which yeah. are those extra hit points and immunity to poison, immunity to fear, and advantage on... Wisdom saves. Wisdom saves. Is there an, is that death saves too? Or that's some Wisdom save there? advantage. Okay. So uh, this is sort of the scene that, that we'll paint. The orcs, about a dozen of them have crashed through. Those are the little black... Uh, um, Figure holders without any figures in them. And then the big one is the it's this troll with kind of boils and things on it. Again, kind of with the theme of these creatures that have been kind of turned by the mistress. But this one might just be more naturally that way. But it sort of has these green boils all over it. There's a, is it Greasy's cousin? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, this is... I don't know if he's related to that other troll that you guys met before. You might have to ask him about about that. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> are, the, are the orcs male-shaped, too? Or are they normal? No, they look fit, and they came Alive. in in a normal column. Okay. Yeah. Oh, are they against us? Yes. Ah, oh, beans. Yeah, that's the, ma- the majority of the baddies on the map. The other stuff on there are the two guards that are kind of putting themselves between the orcs and Mag, that's Lena and um, the other orc from Firecliff. And then there's a vulture, one of the giant ones from the sky. It, I should have made it a little bit higher, but it's sort of swooping down toward Kairos to try and uh, smash into him. And if he does, he might lose his ice storm that's blasting there. The gap in the middle of the map, where the fold is, the map's not big enough, so that's 40 feet sort of condensed to nothing there. So way on the other side is Navara on top of the tower near the east of town where she's been constantly uh, assailing whatever's been coming toward the wall with arrow after arrow Mom, all look. through the night. Watch this. Mom. Mom, Mom watch. <laughs> she's got a while before she gets to watch anything for Mom because Kira's at the bottom, but Trixie is first. So go ahead, Trixie. What would you like to do? Probably swoop down and try to stab the thing in the back that's directly behind her. Going to kind of skirt around or go over top of that first orc, then drop down on the one. This one yeah. behind Dern. Okay. Stab it. Whoops, wrong character. <sighs> Flip back over. 16 and 4, so that's... I'm using the short swords. Plus 7, so 23 and 10. 23 hits. 4 plus 4, 8. And sneak attack? Which one are you attacking? The one that's behind her. That's not within 5 feet of anybody, so no sneak attack. 8. Okay. So Trixie, uh, flying up near the wall, dives down next to the orc, stabs it once with the short sword, gets its attention. Is there anything you want to do with your bonus? Or I guess your offhand attack was your bonus action, so. You going to hang out there then? Yep. Okay, can you just move Trixie ahead a little bit? She's not flying anymore, so you could just put her next to that orc. And it's Dern's turn. Dern's turn. Dern's turn. You're never this early in the initiative. I know, it feels weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think we're going to uh, break out the gloves. All right. Just to make sure I don't mess up anything. The gloves here. are new, right? Yeah, the gloves are new. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and crack them together. Okay. And then do my little cone. I want to try to hit at least these two here. It's like a 15-foot cone? It's a 30-foot cone. 30-foot cone? 30-foot cone. You would. You could do that. You're going to hit Aaron if you turn that way, but you'll hit four... Five, ten, five. You'll hit four or five orcs as well. Aaron, you feeling pretty good? I mean, I feel all right. All right, put on a sweater. Here we go. <laughs> there was going to be a second half to that sentence, but okay. <laughs> Too late. Uh, DC 13 constitution save. Is that me? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Come on. Okay, this is the stink dice. <laughs> uh, 11. 
I got two no saves and three saves. Okay, so the three saves are going to take half. The, 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 those who did not save are going to take full damage and um, have their movement speed halved. Okay. Oh, cool. So three. It's not that much damage. Three, eight, 16. 16 the full? 16 the full, yeah. It's a good amount of damage. The really ones who take half are not half speed. If they pass Correct. the constitution Correct. save. If they pass the con save, they're, they're still full speed. Okay, so Dern takes the gloves of ice wind. Ice Thanks, Dern. Dern. <laughs> Cracks the knuckles together and out from the center of the gloves emits this huge cone of cold and ice um, that flanks uh, or shoots right through all of the orcs that were kind of flanked around Arn and hits her as well, but kills immediately uh, two of the orcs and injures three of the others who are nearby to her. It's okay. I'm pretty sure we're going to get a fireball, so it'll warm back up. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Does that end your turn, Darren? Yes, it does. All right. Uh, That means it's Mag's turn. I think Mag, seeing that uh, launch out and sort of having limited options, is just going to cast a healing word on Arn. For five points of healing. Ooh. All right. But that's going to bring us to all the orcs who are still around. So Ugh, there's a orcs? number of those uh, who are still left. Why are we fighting orcs? I'm sure this is only a big misunderstanding. So first... Behind you! Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one of them's clamoring up the ladder to try and get up there with the grease wizard. That'll probably take... Let's see. Yeah, he's going to make it up there and <laughs> take a swing at the Grease Wizard. And that's going to be uh, 15 with um, his Great Axe. Am I under Arin's protection? Who's the... She's got to pick who the three are. Yeah, so. the three usually are... Usually it's you. Yeah, the three are going to usually be Kira, Grease Wizard, and Zev. Okay. So yes. 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 Then I pass. So it doesn't hit. No. All right. So he swings at you with the great axe just as he gets to the top of the ladder. Um, just misjudging your height as you duck underneath. Uh, no effect. The one that Trixie stabbed in the back, turn around and take a swing at her with his great axe. And that's a 17. Does that hit? Yes, but I'm going to uncanny dodge. All right. So it would have been nine damage. You take four with the uncanny dodge. Okay. The one that's kind of near Dern and not within five feet moves within five feet of him. Would somebody just push that one between the troll and Dern right next to him? And those two are going to make attacks at Dern with their great axes. That's a 10 and a 21. Both miss. 21 misses? Yes. No. Okay. (laughs) So that's uh, nine points of slashing damage from that. I was wrong. It's 120 feet. Okay. So I definitely have plus one to AC then. Yeah. Okay. All right, so those two swing. One of them misses as he just rushes and kind of overrushes Dern a little bit, and the other one slashes Dern from the back, kind of across the shoulder. Dern wishes he still had armor back on (laughs) us. The two frozen orcs that are next to Arryn will take swings at her with their great axe. That's a 10 and a 19, so I guess one hits. Yeah. And you take nine points of slashing damage for those. Can't wait till it's my turn so I can rage. That will help. Uh, one is near Zev, kind of behind him a little bit, is going to take a slash at him. It's a 17. That hits. Nine points of slashing damage. One's going to attack Lena. And hits. Four, nine. And one is near Kalman, is going to make an attack at him, and that will be the last. <clears throat> I think. That will not hit Kalman with his shield up. So Kalman blocks the Great Axe uh, with Dern's old shield, and you hear it ring out. He's going to use his uh, reaction to try to hold the weapon against his shield. Oh, yes. Uh, No, the the orc succeeds on the strength save. So it almost gets hung up on the uh, magnetic force of Kalman and his armor and his shield, but he manages to rip it free. All right, next would be Naivara, who is going to look at the one who just climbed up at the wall, who's in kind of a straight line away from her, between her and the Grease Wizard, and take a shot at it with her longbow. That will hit the Grease Wizard. (laughs) Um, No, we like him. Yeah, that definitely hits, and that's a D8. 
Navarre probably doesn't have strong feelings one way or the other. That's true. <laughs> uh, that only deals five. That one has not been hit yet. Okay, so she just sinks an arrow um, into it. Or she can use arcane shot on that, so she will, and make it a shadow arrow, uh, which will be enough to actually kill that orc. So I you mean- watch... Just as he swings, Navarro, poof, this black arrow kind of grasped in shadow, like when Kira uses her shadow shot on her blackwood bow, uh, sticks into the orc's back, and he just falls and then tumbles off the side of the wall onto the ground, dead. <laughs> Grease Wizard just, just, like, watching, like, waiting for it to hit. <laughs> and it's your turn, Grease Wizard. So, the this thing right here, the yes. big thing, that's a big thing, right? It's a venom Ooh. troll. A yes. venom troll. Mm-hmm. Looks real big. Yes, it's uh, considered I don't like large it giant. It's like 60 foot radius. Yeah, large like, I, like, <laughs> I don't no, think it's like it'll very probably specific. Be, it'll probably be like a 20 foot, right? Like, I want to hit all four of those. If I cast Shatter, will I hit those and not anyone else? Shatter's 10 foot radius sphere? Let me check. I think you're going to hit Kalman if you hit the troll. You'd, I think you can hit them if you hit Kalman or Aaron. It's a 10 foot radius sphere. 10 foot radius. So if I put it so right it's here. 20 feet wide. Yeah, I think you can get them without getting anybody else. <laughs> what was that? I was, I'm going to shatter them with my gun. Well, my spells. I don't think you know how guns <laughs> so the grease wizard with finger guns yeah. loads them up. That's what I do. That's... <laughs> and cast shatter. So Boom. I have to make con saves? Yes. For two orcs, it looks like, and the troll. Mm-hmm. So the two orcs first. Uh, that's. Pretty good. Do you get to change what kind of damage Shatter does? I can. I'm not doing it this time. Okay. Uh, it's 15 and 17. Uh, 17 passes. Okay. And that's a 1 for the troll. Nice. So that's 3d8 damage. Roll 8. And these have been hit with ice already. At least 4, 5, 8. Is that adding them, or are those the separate rolls? 3d8 damage. Yes, but were you adding them and giving me the numbers? No, those were separate rolls. 4, 5, and 8. So So 17. 17. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the two orcs that had already been hit with the frost, um, even the one that failed or that passed his save, are shattered. Um, The troll takes the full 17 points of damage. And he only had 16 health. We can wish... Uh, doesn't yeah, do any extra he damage because he uh, nat one. No, he just automatically fails. Uh, so when you do that, you shatter it, and some of the like boils and things on him explode and nice. flip over Calman's face. Oh no! And uh, it would deal poison damage, but he's immune to poison because of the hero's feast. So he's just like, and he's a machine. Ew! So <laughs> yay! That's that. All right. Uh, does that end your turn, or do you want to move or use a bonus action does he or anything? Does eat? Like, does he have a digestive system? I ate some of the feast. It was yummy. I kind of ducked down a but little like, bit to get some he, partial like, cover. Eat, eat. He doesn't have to. Hmm? Can I get, like, partial cover? Can I, like, duck down a little bit in the wall? I'm tiny. Uh, not really, because the, <laughs> the wall is only sort of protecting from the south. There's oh. nothing on the back of it. I guess sort of on the edge there, yeah. Just a little bit. like You could get half cover, I think, as a gnome. I'll take it. Okay. He can see him goes, I'm tiny. I'm tiny. All right, so it is the troll's turn. He trips and falls. Uh, <laughs> Crocs fall, troll dies. He's going to try so a, a venom spray, intimidated. but it's, he doesn't know that the poison of it isn't going to hurt you. Um, he's a troll and very yeah. stupid. Well, he wouldn't know, you know that you guys had a feast or anything. So he actually slashes himself <clears throat> across the belly with Ugh. his blade, no. and you watch all this stuff kind of erupt out of him. Ugh. But it is going to hit. I am not okay the with the guards. And well, Le- Lena or Lena and Mag had the feast too, right? Yes. Yep. So the only thing it's going to affect is going to be the other orc who's there. Nice. Uh, everyone scream like yeah. Everyone act hurt. <laughs> oh no! Fails, fails it safe. <laughs> Uh, and it burns. And falls unconscious to the ground. So one of those guards flanking uh, Mag is unconscious. Oh, dokey. That's going to end the troll's 
turn, though, because that's its full action to use the that spray. The description of that affected me physically. <laughs> it's slashing itself? In a way, not many things have. And that's a big... <laughs> actually, it's a 15-foot cube, so it would have hit Aaron and GW and the orcs there. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Or maybe not GW because he's up higher, but it would have hit those two orcs, which does matter because they are not immune to poison. So actually, those two in front of Aaron are already dead because they got hit by the shatter. So if you would remove them. The other one in front of Dern is going to take full damage and he's going to die. So, but All the right. other one, the other so orc in front of me just died. In front of Dern gets killed by the acids uh, or the poison. All right. And that ends the troll's turn. He didn't do very well there. He heard his friends more no, than anybody great. else. Good he job, did awesome. Buddy. Uh, but that brings us to he tried his hardest. Lena, who's just going to th- throw a javelin at the troll with a nat 20. Nice. Woo-hoo. All right. You we're going to have one useful orc on the team. I am sad. <laughs> two sixes on the 2d6 for the crit Oh, my, so gosh. oh my gosh. Double crit, right? Talks uh, 16 points of damage from the javelin Oof. there. That's pretty good. Sorry, Zev. I was trying to dunk on myself, not on you. And again, it sprays out um, poison in a small area around it, though, only within five feet. And Kalman gets more on him as, <laughs> as it does so. <laughs> this is not uh, okay. That brings us to the vulture. Oh, I forgot about who's the going to dive on Kairos and make an attack. I think we were all supposed to forget about the vulture. Uh, the vulture is going to miss with its beak, but it's going to try to grasp him with its talons. He's going to miss with that too. <laughs> no, no, that's a twelve, and his AC is twelve. It's going to hit with that too. Oh. Snag on his robe. Mm-hmm. That's a really low. Uh, that's six points of slashing damage to Kairos, and he has to make a concentration check on his ice storm. Isn't fly a concentration spell? He's got that on him from the oh. other mage from the mage college. <coughs> okay. Um, I mean, I don't want to see all these mages die. I don't have a personal vendetta against them. He keeps the Do ice you? storm active for now. So it's still going, um, and it's Zev's turn. I would like to reach. Wait, I can't do that. (laughs) 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 Zev is really bad. Yes. At least pretending pretending to be really bad. He's going to try an appeal saying, like, like, don't you recognize this sword? This is the sword of Akagi. You should not be fighting us. Uh. (laughs) I was like, he can do that? He yeah, could, we all went. He could try. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it would be so at disadvantage. No, the rage. Roll, uh, oh. uh, ah. There's no diplomacy, so do persuasion probably at disadvantage since you're actively, everybody's actively killing them at the moment. Uh, I the rolled trouble. a three. <laughs> uh, plus my charisma, a seven. I mean, that helps a little, but it's really loud. They're in kind of bloodlust mode at the moment, and it doesn't look like it really makes sense. Was them. that my turn? I'm, I'll say it was a bonus. Okay, in that case, I'm going to freak out and just slash him. <laughs> <laughs> As Yeah, they look like he's still ready to swing at you while you're talking. Okay, let's see. High one's a 17, low one's a 9, plus 7, 16. You slashing at the orc near you? Yes, the one directly in front of him. Yeah, those both hit. Okay. So first one is going to be 6, 5, 6 plus 5, 11 plus 4. 15 damage. All right, that kills one. Can I just turn and... Yeah, you got two within your melee there. Cool. Second one's going to be six plus four plus four, 14. That does not quite kill the orc. Can you remove one from Zev and then the other one is injured? And then spin me around towards the... Just knock him over. Oh, yeah. (laughs) And he looks really rough. I said we should not fight. We should not fight as you murder his friends (laughs) and deal him what will probably be a mortal wound. Okay. Uh, but we should not fight. Unless you want to move, that's probably your turn then, right? I'm not going to move away. All right. Uh, it will be Kairos's turn then. <clears throat> um, he can still cast while he has the Ice Storm going. Um, 
So he's going to throw a frostbite at... He's within 60 feet of the troll, so he's going to try to hit the troll with it. The troll has to make a con save, which it does. So no. No effect. Earlier um, you said Kira's at the bottom of the initiative, but she's not, because yeah. I rolled a two. Because Aaron is. All right, that ends Kairos' turn. He's not going to move because the vulture's right near him. Uh, Kalman's next. I'm going to ham it with my hammer. And uh, he's going to swing at the troll. Twice. And hit once. Go Kalman. Yay, Kalman. Dash 28. Mm, that's not Kalman. There's Kalman. I miss Dash 6. Kalman do with his war hammer. Yeah, I like Dash 6 better. They're the exact same, but I miss Dash 6 oh. too. I think you're all just prejudiced That's against Paladins. Okay. No, we're not saying that I out know. loud. We like better than Dern. We like Dash 6 better than Dash 20. It sounds like anti-Paladinism right he here. He deals 10 damage to the troll as more uh, poison splashes all over Kalman. Yeah. It's just, I'm slippery. And it's <laughs> oh, Kira's turn. Now he really does look like Mike Wazowski because he's all green. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think I'm going to try and sharpshooter the uh, vulture. Cool. Okay. So roll your attack minus five. He looks pretty easy to hit. He's big. Okay. 18 plus nine, 27 Seven, minus nine. five. 22 definitely hits. Okay. Yay. Nice. Good dice. 1d8. 4 plus 3 is 7 plus 1 is 8. Sorry. My so brain 18. just stopped working. Is the total damage? Yes. Did it take any damage yet? It has not been hit yet. So you, uh, Kira just launches from her place on the platform to the vulture as it's harassing Kairos and digs it right into its chest. Um, and it looks pretty hurt, but it's still, it's laboring in the way it's flying, but it's still flying. Does it make a concentration check? Oh, I can attack again. <laughs> for, for its spells? For flying? No. It's a bird. I have to it make a concentration. It flies only with magic. Yeah, but you're, all birds have to use magic to 19? fly. 19? Yes, it's AC And that's 10. what they won't teach you in school. Yeah, that's now what your bones are filled with. Six, seven. Magic? magic. Yeah. <laughs> all Plus birds. two. Nine. All right. So we'll just say Kira takes that two arrows at once, and the one hits it in its chest, and the other one kind of hits it in its neck, and now it's as it's spiraling down toward the ground. <clears throat> ground! It does the and thing that Edgar did right before he died. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Uh, does All that end your turn, or do you want to move or bonus? I, here first, I, I think that was my bonus. It, that's in the holes. No, that's that the holes are filled with. Attack. What are the holes filled with? Magic. I don't think I can really do anything else, and I'll sit tight mm, That was here. a pretty good turn. All right. You killed a bird. Aaron, it is ah, your turn. Way to go. Trixie is horrified. Aaron, you've got... She's all the way over there. Trixie's she can't like, sing. what if I'm next? <laughs> 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 uh, I'd like to rage. Okay. And I can do that. You are raging. <laughs> what and does that sound like again? Orc- <laughs> Oh, sorry, I didn't You that. got slime <laughs> in my hair! <laughs> so are you going for the troll or the... Yeah, I'm going to go for the troll. All right, the orc is going to take a swing at you if you run out of it, out of that what? square. Is that okay? There's one right behind oh, you. Oh, fine, whatever. Okay. I don't care that much. <laughs> Scoot your ropes. It's not probably going to matter. 13 to hit? That misses. Yeah, so he swings as you, but you're tunnel vision on the troll, and he just kind of bites into the back of your uh, cloak, but doesn't, doesn't get you. So go ahead and... Make your attack. Okay, with the I'm troll. gonna attack with my axe. Okay. Oof. Uh, sixteen. That hits the thing's real big. It doesn't really have any armor. Okay. Um. It has boil armor. Do I get? I I add one to my damage, or do I add two, two when, when you're I'm raging? raging? Okay. Yep. Um, that's a bad roll. This sucks. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Um. Eleven. That's not bad. So you slash into it, and again, more poison just launching out of this thing, but to no effect on you other than the nastiness uh, in your hair. Do you want to make a second attack? Uh, Yes, please. Sorry, I just got like a scratch in the... (laughs) Rage that out of there. (laughs) Back of my throat. It's the poison. Take a drink of something. Aaron gets a uh, A little bit of poison poison in in the the back of her throat. (laughs) I'm fine. 
Um, 27. That, d- yeah, I'd say that hits. Very much so. <clears throat> Double its AC. No, I did. Ba- I did bad math. Twenty-two. Okay, it still hits. <laughs> um, and that time I do uh twelve plus <laughs> one plus two thirteen fourteen fifteen. Okay, I got Damage. it. So Aaron, disregarding the orc who's behind her swinging at her, just charges to the troll and just. Poosh, poosh, twice with the axe, <laughs> poosh, poosh. opening up its stomach as you watch it almost deflate as this big bunch of uh, poison just falls out onto the ground. It's looking pretty rough. Uh, is there anything else? Is it just covered in like a gushing layer of poison, just like no matter where you slice? Pretty much. Uh, this thing is just kind of uh, gushy, covered in the boils, <laughs> and it's got like these big kind of... Even inside of its skin, like these big sacks full of poison. Okay, I'm having gross flashbacks to Dune. Yes. Yeah. I'm not okay with this. Yeah, All this right. Um, well, that's your bonus version. and your action. You have the some movement left if you want to use it, or do you just want to hang out near the troll? I'll hang out. Since his poison is, we're having a good time. Un- <coughs> unable to affect you guys, thanks to the feast. Okay. <laughs> uh, do I detect a hint of bitterness? Back to Trixie. Trixie's is a stupid feast. I'm going to stab that orc again. Okay. Yeah, he's the one you hurt already. Main. Whoops, let's flip that. Down. You had a well, week to change all these enemies from poison what happens. to fire or electric. 13? That hits. It's Just hits. Dun, 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 you find a soft dun, spot in its armor and slip the blade into it. Yeah. Six. <laughs> yeah, he's, he he's looks rough, but he's still up. Yeah, I got Does my um, <laughs> sneak attack apply here? No, there's nobody near him. Not within not five feet. Anyway. <laughs> there's about to be, but not for this turn. Okay. <clears throat> then a nat one. Well, that second one, you just, uh, after you stab him the first time, you kind of get your sword stuck in, and instead of attacking the second time, you just have to use your action to or bonus to try to pull it out. All right. Uh, that'll end Trixie's turn, I guess. Yep. Dern, now it's your go. Dern has watched Trixie try to do sneak attack for two turns, so he's going to kind of shimmy. Without leaving yeah, melee of melee. one, he's going to get it within melee of two. <laughs> yep, that's good. So you kind of circle around the one you're at. And... All right, we lost. You can hit him next time. And I'm going to take two swings at the guy in front Thank of you. Thank you. All right. Yeah, he has not been hurt yet. First one's going to be three plus five plus three, so three is 11. 11. No, that doesn't hit. Second swing. It's going to be four plus three plus... Twelve does, also does not hit. So this was a productive turn for me. Yeah, so Dern takes you the shimmied. big lawbringer uh, hammer down <laughs> twice as the orc dodges out of the way. Uh, this is a new hammer. I'm not quite used to it yet. <laughs> uh, it's a poor workman that blames his hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I feel like I should take some psychic damage for that one. Yeah, that was a good burn. <laughs> um, Mag is going to... Is anybody hurt? No. I mean, I've been better. I'm at half of my max health, but that's pretty high. So. I'll throw one at Arn. I'm all the way across she the She doesn't field. have a lot of options. So, that one is all the way across the Because she's not going to cast Thunder Wave right now. Um, and I appreciate that. That is... What about um, her other guard person? Measly right. three healing that you'll take there, Aaron. What about her little guard friend Thank that's you. unconscious? Oh. Too late. Yeah. Uh, let in me the, retcon that, Aaron. Sorry. Of, uh, okay. I'm going to put that three. three onto the one who's unconscious. That's probably what she would do. She casts healing word there. It's that's a fine. bonus. I'm probably still close to Greasy's max health. So she's going to, with Eight. her uh. movement... Try to skirt around and get to the troll. Could she do that with 30 feet if she... One, two, three, four. Uh, stop there. She'll swing at that orc with her shillelagh. Shillelagh. boom. Shillelagh. Big stick. <laughs> Naturally enhanced with nature power. And she Wait, clocks <laughs> uh, Mag. She nature clocks power. the orc over the head for three points of damage <laughs> <laughs> with her with her staff. All right, um, Mike. You laugh, but how much how much damage did Dern do last turn? <laughs> <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't laughing at the amount of damage. Oh, I was laughing just at all the euphemisms. <laughs> and I take my burn back. Yeah, there you go, traitor! She says as she smacks him on the head. She got older like so much <laughs> yeah. in the past <laughs> past week, guys. Wait, where's the silent barkeeper? Yohei? Yeah, uh, he's been. 
peeing his pants. He's been in the all this, but you guys haven't really run into him. Oh, I don't I need think. To find, we need to find you. He's a uh, that goes back around warrior. to the orcs' turns. So one who's by Trixie is going to make an attack at her. Oh, that's a. Uh, I should have taken. That's going to hit. That's a ten. Uh, no, twenty. Fifteen plus five is not ten. That's a twenty to hit. Uncanny dodge. Okay, so you'll take half. Please. Half. Of what would have been nine damage, so you take four. Okay. Um, the one near Dern, who Dern just missed twice with the Lawbringer, is going to make an attack at him with the Great Axe. No, that's an 11. See, it's not so easy, is it? Yeah. So you guys just kind of have the, <laughs> the hammer and the axe tangled together at the moment as you're struggling with each other, um, sort of pushing the handles up against each other. Uh, Strength check. Next, there's one by Zev who's looking pretty rough. He's we should not fight. Make a swing at him. <laughs> That's a 17. We, he hits me. Nine points of uh, slashing damage. And one's going to swing at Mag who just got clocked on the head. That's going to hit. And she'll take nine points of damage. Oh, she's up from the feast though. I don't have that on here. Okay. So she's actually higher then that all right and who does that leave there's one behind Kalman. behind Kalman, who had taken down the one guard who probably had turned to face lena he's gonna miss her as she dodges out of the way and i think that's it for the orcs if i'm looking right one two three four orcs five orcs yes and it is Nivara's turn She'll take a shot at the one that Trixie's been harassing. That's the closest one. Don't miss. That will hit, and it has two health left. So. And that's the important thing for the archer, to get the closest one. <laughs> yes. Well, she's pretty far away. That's an extra 40 feet away. I guess. Without having to shoot over some or into somebody. Does she get a second attack? I don't think so. She's not a specialist, Kira. Kira's better. Yes, she does. She does get oh. two attacks. Mm. You were saying... She's My bow is better. You're welcome. Arcane Archer, she's a fighter. She should but her second off. is going to <laughs> miss. So the other one lands near the one by Dern uh, as they're smashing handles. <laughs> okay. We go to the Grease Wizard. Uh, I'm going to cast... Uh, so the the troll looks pretty like ugly, right? He's pretty down. He's down, yep. Um, I'm going to just He's cast Firebolt. Okay. That sounds good. Yet. We're going to enunciate our T's very yes, clearly bolt. today. Firebolta. Firebolta. Uh, 20. That hits. Fun fact, our kids used to you call lights 2D10. 2D10. Light 3, top. 4, 7. All right. He still looks rough, but he's... Firebolt just smacks into his back, but he doesn't seem to notice too much. Uh, does that end Oof. your turn, or do you want to move or duck back down duck by back the wall? Duck back down. All right. I guess the troll is next. He used that. <coughs> oh, I lost my page. I got too many things here. So Shatter was you racking a shotgun. Fireballs as you just stand up. Pew! Go back down. <laughs> I do it twice. Here you go. Pew, pew! All right. He's going to see if his spray recharges. It does not. So he's going to make a bite attack at Arn. That is a 19. That hits. You take nine piercing damage, halved to four. And you don't take the poison damage or get the poisoned effect. <laughs> uh, it's going to make a claw attack at Kalman. No matter what Trixie does this fight, and she hit. already did the best thing. Yeah, Trixie's MVP. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Woohoo! By far. Yeah, there's a lot of poison ooh, here. Ooh. We would have all been He dead. slashes Kalman for ooh, boo boo. Uh, 16 points of damage. That was two sixes on the D6s. Wait, Where did can... she get the mansion? She killed a guy. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and another slash at Kalman with the claw. Misses. Did you? Okay. I was there. <laughs> Who's the one who dashed for four turns and caught up to him? Who, who's the one that kept screaming at you people to help me not get killed by an elephant? I feel like I, I wasn't there. Lot. Yeah, I feel like we've missed. <laughs> so Kalman's down to his normal health pre-heroes feast from that big slash across him. Oh, uh, that's so troll. sad. And <laughs> ow! Uh, it is 
Uh, they're dead, dead. Zev's turn. I said we should not fight! And I'm going to slash him and kill him. <laughs> the okay. one directly in front of me? Yes. Uh, 16 plus things? That hits. He has one health. So okay. you slash through that orc and uh, he oh, finally falls over. Oh, don't forget you over. have your guy, too. Yeah, yeah, I'm not pulling him out yet. Okay. Uh, take a step forward and go after the other one that's fighting Mag. Yes, okay. And that's going to be, uh, that's a 6 plus 3 plus 4, 6 plus 7, 13? 13 just hits. <laughs> 5 plus 4, 9 damage. Okay, he's still up, but again, he's looking pretty rough as you and Mag are flanking him, and she's getting ready to just smack gonna try, him with the spear. Just going to try one the more time. Staff again. We should not be fighting! <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Kairos... Um, He's going to keep the ice storm going and again try his cantrip of frostbite at the guy. Uh, you know, do it with the troll. The troll this time fails. Should be easy to see. Constitution save. Woo! Yeah. And takes. All right. Um, The troll. Freezes with the uh, frostbite on him. Finally, this time not scattering anything around as he sort of, uh, you know, hardens up there, uh, and he crashes to the ground dead. So the troll has been killed with that last twelve points of damage, and Kairos is just going to hang out where he is, trying to keep channel channeling this storm. Uh, Kalman is next to act. Um, there's one right behind him. There is? Yep. yep. All right, he'll turn around and smack at that guy. That's going to hit. That does 11 points of damage. And he'll swing again. I don't think he's going to spend anything on this guy. And that's a nat 20. So with two strikes of his hammer, Calvin smashes into the one orc carrying the guards there and dispenses with him. Pretty handily. All right. So you're playing Operation there for a second. <laughs> Kira, it's your turn. We've only got, just to catch up, Don't anybody s- listening, I guess two orcs, anybody one near Dern, smack and handles, and uh, one uh, sort of surrounded a little bit by Zev and Mag. I will attempt to shoot the one that's in front of Zev and Mag. Okay, it would have cover, but that doesn't bother you. Nope. I would have cover from all the peoples. How's it looking again? That one's looking pretty rough. It's been hit with the staff over the head, and it's got a cartoon lump kind of raising up. Mm-hmm. And then it was run through the stomach with Zev's sword. <coughs> I'll attempt to do sharpshooter again. I'm going to hit because it's 17 plus 9 minus 5. Okay. Uh, sharpshooter does plus 10 damage, right? Yes. So he's at less than 10. So no matter what you roll, uh, he will die. You should not be fighting. Oh, never mind. So he's dead. Other one. Bye, Dern. With your second shot across the field. I will attempt sharpshooter again. Okay. He's undamaged. And 17 again. Plus 9, 26 minus 5. That hits. 22. 22. Okay, that's 5 damage plus 10, so 15. That kills him as well. The other arrow digs in, um, knocks him down. You see the the forces kind of on the outside where the ice storm was have tried to re-rally and started backing off into sort of a retreat. Um, But it is Arn's turn. We're going to stay in the initiative for now. So there's no threats currently inside the wall. There's Mag's kind of line of temporary... uh, vines across the the path that, that leads through the hole in the wall there. But uh, what is it you'd like to do? I mean, mostly what I'm good at is killing stuff. <laughs> Look out, Kalman! <laughs> <laughs> Where's that guard that has three hit points? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll put him out of his misery. Um, so I guess I'll just hold my turn. Okay. Um, what are you holding... Four, like it, hit with axe. All right, if anything gets within your range, you'll swing at it. 
Yeah, I guess. Right. Any, any enemy, any hostile creature comes yes. within her range. Gotcha. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> even look at me. <laughs> Hello, Otto. Right, Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Date Night, the tabletop role-playing podcast with me, Mike. If you want to learn more about our show, how to get bonus content, how to listen to us, where to find the podcast, where you can see art and maps, and just generally just about everything related to the show, it's best to check out our website at d8nightpodcast.com. You can also find ways to support us there, like maybe becoming a premium listener, buying us pizza, or supporting an episode and having your very own message read. Click the sponsor tab to find out more. As always, we love you guys and appreciate your support in any way you can provide it from sharing, subscribing, just listening, or sponsoring us. Now, let's get back to the story. Well, that brings us back to the top of the order, and this is the... I waited that entire time. (laughs) Top of the third round, and with that, you hear a crash um, and a cracking sound in the walls, and... um, I have a question. Yes. Doesn't Kalman have, like, an advantage thing? Is that still going? If you're within 10 feet of Kalman, you get plus four on your saving throws. Okay. Yes, that's always. It's just his aura, not his Aran. His aura. <laughs> well, my Aran gets me plus one to AC. So we still need to get Aran and Aurex, and then she needs to find yes. an aura as well. Oh, that's a really big base there. You got. That's a really big ba- character no. base you got uh, there, friend. Big, no, put it away. That's a, that's a big one. I don't like that one. Uh uh-uh. uh Yeah, that's a really big one. Big ones are bad. Thanks, guys. Oh goodness gracious me, Jeebus. There's, there's more than one big one. Ah, oh. Why do you have more than one big one? Those are even bigger than the trolls. So, <laughs> um, I got to roll these. Oh, jeez, into the initiative Don't somewhere. Don't knock the table over. Um, so basically, before me, I'll you probably you can't really see what's going on over there yet. But uh, Clippy's I always looking. Pull. I mean, you see that that one is the ones that had been retreating from the ice storm. It's a group of orcs, the first base nearest to you. Mm-hmm. Um, Grease Wizard, from where you are, you can also see the other one's another squadron of orcs. And the front one is somebody who is casting something on the wall. Roll a perception check, I guess. We'll see what you can see. What about Trixie? Trixie's not flying anymore. Was Ten. the one on the ground. So. Ten? Mm-hmm. That's probably about what you can see then. All right, so let me roll these into the initiative real quick, and then we will figure out what's going on. It's a really big base, huh? Well, they are about... So what are they again? It's orcs. No. The orc people? Squads of orcs. Oh, I was like, those are big-ass orcs. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) And red base is... It's like eight or ten in each squad there, maybe a dozen. Um, and red base. Can I is hang on to the firebolt, uh, the fireball like circle that you have? Yeah. And the red base is a caster guy. He was casting something on the wall. It looked like yes. It's right on. Don't hit Navarro. Um. So swarm the will be minion. Dang it! And the other dude will be enemy. And he is lower. Mm. Okay. Uh, back to the top of the order, mm. Trixie. You hear a cracking sound coming from the east. You don't see anything yet. but um. Oh, and the crack in the table is an extra 40 feet, isn't it? Yes. The crack in the board. Yeah. There's a crack in here? Ah. Yes. That's the. I'm get, got to go get the big base. Flip that fireball upside down. That's the crack. In. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fly up in the air. Okay. To see what I can see, I guess. Uh, make a perception check when you get up there. <laughs> Trixie farts. <laughs> <laughs> 10. 
you see two big squads of orcs, one about to – that's charging straight toward the wall and one that's sort of regrouping after being pummeled by the ice storm at the front gates. Um, hmm. She'll probably drop down and relate the news to Dern since she's okay. next to him. And maybe Oren, since she's within shouting distance. Yeah. Uh-huh. So you guys get the idea that the assault that you heard about over on the east is about to hit. Is there anything else you want to do? Can I hold an attack in case something gets within my bow reach? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, then it is Dern. Dern's going to scream at Grease Wizard, Light him up, lad! And then he's going to start running that way. Okay, you're gonna dash. Uh, Don't forget, there's a wall, so you'd have to run for the opening. You um, would get just through that onto the other side of that forty foot imaginary okay. space if you dash. Go there, and then if I could use like a bonus action to yell at Navara, tell her probably time to get down. Okay. Get down. Pretty sure there's gonna be some fire soon. Um, I gotta put these guys into my sheet here. Mag is going to move toward me because that's where the raven tree is. It's kind of up past Kairos. So she's going to move as much as she can like toward Kairos. She could get near him. Um, Then it would be the orc swarms turns. Get closer together. Squadrons. The one squadron joins forces with the other. Is going to burst through the wall because you can't see exactly what's going on, but they can make it 30 feet up. Actually, they can this dash. Does it doesn't so. even count as difficult terrain? Mm-mm. They it's can dash. The so they're coming about like here. Are we sure that they're not on our it's side? right through the wall. The other ones with a dash can probably get about to the opening in the wall that he's made there now. Um, with that's them dashing, so that ends their turn. Then uh, it'll be Nivara's turn. Um, hold on, I didn't add the other guy. Sometimes it feels like I'm just by myself over here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Got too many things. Well, will versus will <laughs> versus <laughs> will. <laughs> that's not what I want to do. It's been a while Dun, since he's uh, had an episode uh, of playing with himself. Yes. Yeah, but that's womp, what I'm doing womp, here. That's womp. for our premium subscribers. <laughs> yes. Actually, I think that one would be released night after free. Dark. All right. 19.5 um, season good one. Name. You just came up with it. That was it. <laughs> Nivara. Uh, Has she's going to run along the wall toward GW as her part of the tower is crashing down. So she's going to make an acrobatics check for that, which Uh-oh. she's good at. And that's good because... That's over a 20. So she tumbles and she just makes a dash action uh, 60 feet, which will bring she's, her about to the crease. She's still on say. the wall? Yes. She's still on the wall. She's up on the wall. She's still on the wall. Good job. Good All right. Job. That's going to end her turn, and now it's GW's turn. Bees? Bees. bees. Doesn't that take your action? Nope. Bonus action. Okay. Bees? Bonus action bees. I'm not on board. So bees, bees, bonus. I call my bee friend. Uh, this one's name is... Bumble. Okay. <laughs> uh, and me and Bumble fly 100 feet up 40, 50. Uh-huh. I can get here, right? Mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to go up like a, a good a lot of movement with 100 feet. And cast down. a fireball right there. I get yeah. everyone. Yeah, you get everyone. Mm-hmm. So is that a deck save? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. All right, I'll use the two reds for the squads. Nat ones. Nat ones. Natural ones. Fails. I Fails. Think they're going to fail. Fails. Fail! Uh, 14 is the high one. Nope. Ha! Can they I, all fail. Can I borrow 8d6? Six, Here. Six. Here's it. i got to put some dice away here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, that's a oh, nice mix. Oh, boy. Five. No sixes in there, though. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty-one. Points 21. of fire damage. They all take full on that. Mm-hmm. 
as you watch those squadrons really thin out. It ignites flammable objects in that area also. Which would be the wall, I'd say, <laughs> probably, uh, and the tower. <laughs> Good. So all that stuff's on fire. Uh, this guy takes the damage, too. What was it, 21? Yep. 21. Let's go ahead and... Uh... All right, so those squads you see thin out to about two-thirds of their original size. Um, that represents fire. <laughs> <laughs> two-thirds. <laughs> okay. Two thirds, uh, not one third. Fine, I'll put two there. I just really, really, really wanted to have the chance for me to use one of the expo markers. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna draw some fire. Um all right, does that end your turn, GW? Yeah, bonus move action. Mm -hmm. And also I don't remember the last time I took a turn, so <laughs> I need Zev. something to do. Zev, it's your turn. I'm going to run uh sixty feet, so I'm gonna dash. All right. So Go ahead, move me there, sir. As much as five, you can. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. That's You're like 10 right feet in into there. the 40, then. Okay. Okay. 10 feet in. Uh, Kairos. Uh, he's going to. He's still kind of trying to get between them and the Raven Tree on Mag's kind of command. So he's just going to move here, which would block them. A little bit more. All right. Uh, then it's Kalman's turn. He's going to also dash. He can only go to 50 feet, so he's just going to be around the crease somewhere. And that means it's the main dude's turn who busted up the wall. So Grease Wizard, you can see it now, even before the fireball hit. He had just withered the thorns that had made up this part mm -hmm. of the wall into dust. Um, and he's going to use his movement to come through the wall. Uh, he can go 30 feet. Is, does the fire make it difficult terrain? Uh, no, he's got an empty spot there. Where it was just kind of dust. It's going to be more like this, I think. Uh, that's 30. I'm also way in the air. 40 feet away. It's going to call down a moonbeam on Dern, who's the only one across the crease there. So I'm already Dern, shiny. I need you to make a constitution save. You're a dwarf. I'm, I'm fairly good at that. That's a 16 plus uh, 2. It's 18. Yes, that makes... So you'll oh, take... wait. Constitution saving throw? Yes. That's 20, 22. Okay, and Kalman's so in range, half. so it's plus 4. So you take 3 no, the is the half. Side. 3 damage. damage. Okay. Kalman's right next to Dern. No, he's 40 feet away. That's where the And he is. keeps the moonbeam right oh, on that's you. that's right. Um, for now. And... That's going to end his turn. Do I look majestic with it shining on, on that my shiny chain? armor? So you were under the ground and yeah. you had some poison and you're covered in dirt, but the midsection, no, 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 magical, chain where the chain mail. never gets is. dirty. Oh, yeah. Okay. The, the rest of you is filthy. Yes. But the magical part with the moonbeam shining off of it is like a beacon in the dawn. Okay. <laughs> um, Darn in his Technicolor dream coat. Got it. Kira, it's your turn. <laughs> uh,. Something died. That was my microphone going flying. What's the range on my Blackwood bow? I'll just hold it like this. Don't You don't have it? Uh, it's a regular long bow. So okay. Whatever the long bow range is. It's long. It's long. It's probably long enough for anything on the map. I was attempting to type it while you were having issues there. And this page isn't loading correctly. Got it. Mm. 150, 600. So <laughs> since you have sharpshooter, 600 is your normal range. Holy crap. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm if aiming Kira, at... If you were holding Kira in your hand over there on the other side of the table, she could still reach. Oh, my God. I'm aiming at red base. Okay. You can see uh, with your half-elven eyes uh, and your sharpshooter uh, honed eyes, I guess, that this is 
He's, he's an orc humanoid. He's kind of got bark and stuff in his skin. Druid. Um, and a big shield druid. and mace. Not made out of iron. Um, he's a druid. So he should be on fire. My stepmother fireball. Fireball. looks kind of like that, I think. Maybe. Your stepmother looks, Sometimes. looks like an orc. So go ahead and make your, no, she's half make your shot. Oh. I'm not feeling my luck, but I'm saying sharpshooter anyways. Okay. Two. Nope. <laughs> That's not going to hit. Ooh, 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 reaction. I'm rolling again with necrotic damage. You can't. It's but, dawn. Is it cloudy? No. <laughs> <laughs> you said it was the dark dawn. Yes, that was figurative, not literal. <sighs> Just shoot him again. Yeah. Sharpshooter. Nat 20. That does. Yes. Yes. Oddly oh. enough hit. He's below max really? damage, so you get your normal dice doubled. So let's figure out how to do this before we roll them five different times and add them. What's your normal damage for your bow? A D8? Yes. And your normal damage for Colossus Slayer is a D8? Yes. So you get four D8 plus your modifier plus the sharpshooter. Hachi, Hachi. Hachi, Hachi is right. Do you want D8s? Plus four, so plus 14. No, I've got three. Can I have my sixes back, by the way? Don't do it. It's a trap. I just finished arranging them by color. I was doing numbers. (laughs) (laughs) It's been a long time since I had a turn. (laughs) Well, you're on deck. Sam just picked up the dice and didn't let me finish putting them in a perfectly straight line so that I could put them back in the cup. Yeah, that would would, would bother me. Your husband's the worst. 32 damage. 32. So, yeah, that makes up for the first one missing, I'd say. As the one lands just between Dern and the face worn. Um, Kira pulls back a second, now adjusting for the wind, and digs this one straight into, like, his sternum. Does he have to make a constitution save for his <laughs> Kira pulls beam? back her bowstring, yes, chanting does. to herself, death, death, Which, death, Which, unless he death. crits on, he will lose. Because that's a... Well, no, half of 32 would be 16 is what he needs to keep the concentration. And that's a 22. So the moonbeam's still up. Ah, oh, and he's not dead. Oh, at least I'm still shiny. <sighs> You're still very shiny. Extra Kira, do you want to move or? I can't really move that far, but sh- sure. Doesn't really matter with your 600. It's up to you. I'll move up towards the edge of the wall then. All right. She, she moves to where it's the least catablepacy. <laughs> well, I was on a wall there, when yeah. it killed me. She was just on the other side of the wall. I'm going to be thinking about those almost color-coded dice for a long time now. <laughs> it's your turn, Aaron. I feel you. Hit with axe. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Nothing around. <laughs> She's in the one <laughs> empty spot on the map. <laughs> There's, like a There's no one within 20, 20 feet around her. <laughs> <laughs> she hits the ground. <laughs> Is there a stump nearby? <laughs> <laughs> There's dead orcs on the ground. That orange just last turned when oh she held her God. action. <laughs> <laughs> and even if I dash, he'll get about to where Zev is. I'll get about to where Zev is. I still won't be within range. She I gets still won't 80. Be able to hit anything. Do you have j- any javelins? She could get to where Dern is. So she could get to Dern on the other side of the crevasse. Cool. Do you have a javelin? Do you remember back when I had. Planeswalker? <laughs> no, I don't. All right. Um, Trixie. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. You got a bandana now. You got a bandana now. I thought you gave that away. <laughs> no. I she thought she traded that. for the... Oh, okay. Well, when I thought I was getting a magical item, I was like, well, you can have this. Um, it wasn't magical, so she took it back. <laughs> It's like it's someone, I need that. It's like someone donates something to Goodwill. Fifteen second, fifteen seconds later, comes back. Uh, just kidding. The magical Goodwill has got to be insane. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, shoot. I don't know where. How my... long? Well, Trixie's is one hundred and fifty. Technically, you were holding an action. I don't know where my sheet. was. The first my... thing that would have triggered it would have been the first squad of orcs going through. You could have taken a shot at them with your held action last turn. I did consider it. Do you want to do that? Sure. All but right, then so you got to Kira, and then I was all flustered. So go ahead and make your for last turns held. But guess what, guys? The bandana is 13. Stupid. It hits one of their shields in the... So no. Yeah. Hold no, on a second while I count turn. on the map. Okay. I'm 
just barely within range. I look at Red Base. Mm-hmm. Sleep. Sleep. Go to I sleep. You said Red Bay. Is that Base. wisdom? Yes. That makes it a twenty-two. <sighs> so he does not get sleepy from that. As uh, Trixie holds out a wing and tries to put him to sleep, he doesn't even really notice. She has a hand on the end of her running wing. forward. Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> she has a what? Not like like a little... those bird. That one bird that can climb up the sides of uh, trees with the. Oh, I'm thinking. I was thinking a human hand. <laughs> that's that that less than sleepy. Jesus, a yeah. human hand. Sleep. All right. Do you want to move or bonus? Mm, I don't remember what I've done. You can you dash, can yeah. hide. Oh, I'll dash up by Greasy. Cool. You flying up there? Up near the wall? Yeah. All right. Uh, it's Dern's go. Turn. Dern's We've established turn. this. Dern, for, turn. Dern, turn. Dern, turn. <laughs> Dern, turn. <laughs> Dern, turn. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go... Like the direction Aaron is, I want to go that way four tiles. All right, and then I'm going to take aim at this guy with my blunderbuss and take, right, that's take a, a big shot. pack of orcs with shields. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, it's a seventeen. I am not proficient with my blunderbuss. With the musket? Yes, you are. I am. Oh, that's a twenty. Remember, you were practicing on the ship. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's right. Over the seas. Wait, is this a blunt? Your blunderbuss or your musket? A musket. A musket. What happened it's to your blunderbuss? Six. That's going to be eight damage. Eight. Yes. All right. So you careen through one of their shields, actually, um, and crack into his arm, and one of the guys in the uh, swarm falls over, or the squad, I guess I should say. Uh, anything else? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah. Got to reload, so no other attack. Do you still um, have your blunderbuss? What is it, Zev's turn? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Blunderbuss? Mm, so, I, I don't remember. It's the range on Where am I? Or... <laughs> Who are you people? <laughs> uh, just going to skip that. So the squads of orcs now, that they have somebody to engage, they can move an extra 30 feet if they attack. So <sighs> Stupid orcs. Sorry, Zev. Oof. Hey, Arn, look, Oof, you're in doofa. melee range. There you go, Arn. Yes! So one swarm is going to make attacks. And They're charging turn. straight at her. She's just smiling. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> All right, Dern. 19, 20, 14. The 14 misses. So two hits. So there's three in each squad now? So they slash. No, but that's the number who would have a chance at hitting and sort of the okay. way that they're together is how I figured it. Total of 12 damage with the two sword attacks that slash into you. The ones... Uh, I would like to rage. <laughs> you would, wouldn't you? I bet I'm sure you would. Uh, Aaron, that is a 23, an 18, and a 12. So two hit. Yeah. You are raging. So that's eight. Would be 14 is seven points of slashing damage. Total? Yes. That's the halved. Okay. I'm not doing very... I'm not doing great. I'm not doing horrible. I'm not doing great. Okay. <laughs> so Aaron's looking a little ragged. All right. Uh, that ends the orc's turn. And I mean, it looks good on her. Yeah. The blood definitely does. But she's not looking great. <laughs> it matches the cape. She doesn't look great, but it looks <laughs> great. I thought her cape was yellow. Well, I guess on the minifig, it's red. It I didn't, used to be. I didn't have it's a red yellow now. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a yellow Lego cape. Uh, Why is Zev flying? Oh, never mind. That's just a normal base. My bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> Knife Vara would be next. Where she is, I think she's going to shoot down at some of the ones in the squad by Aaron. Actually, she could use piercing arrow. They're in a line, and she could hit both squads. Ooh. Yes. They have to make deck saves. That's so good. One makes and one fails. The The fail takes half, though, as it still strikes through some of the orcs there, and that's a better damage. So that's 3d8. 15. That's 19 to the one that failed the save. And well, that'd be nine to the one that passed. So 
Navara takes the arrow. It pierces through like six orcs that all drop out of those squads uh, and fall to the ground. Um, and the other ones sort of, uh, they were maybe the ones in the back trying to get up to be able to swing, but they never got that chance. And it is Priest Wizard's turn. All right. So uh, I'm going to... The squads now are about a third the size of the original squads. So they're down to like three or four orcs in each one. All right. So I'm going to focus on the red base guy. Yeah. I'm going to call over the spell squirrel. Okay. That's not just the new noise you make. I thought it was one of his thinking. Hmm. Hmm. No, no, no. Okay. And I'm going to cast a... F- no, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to cast a fiery shatter on the uh, bark druid man. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm going to call this melt. Melt. That sounds cool. Instead of shatter. Uh, i got to make uh, a constitution sweet. save. Well, it's constitution for... Yes. Thunder damage, but that's I don't know. That's a 13, so... Okay. Uh, that's 3d8. Six, three, seven. Eight. Sixteen points of fire melting damage. Okay, so the squirrel <laughs> the <laughs> race wizard basically <laughs> by the tail <laughs> <laughs> over the top of the face worn guy <laughs> and it explodes in a fiery uh thunderous explosion kind of with both there and uh you watch as some of the bark goes flying off the guy and he, you see him burning <laughs> kind of around the shoulders. Um, but then the squirrel pff, reappears right next to you after it exploded. Does it give me a little kiss on the cheek? No. Is a little nuzzle? Mm. No. He, it's Tell not, him he did you a good just job, made him explode. <laughs> so I, I don't think he so. likes it though. That's what he's made for. <laughs> he likes to explode. He's an ethereal squirrel, uh, not and he a is, real squirrel. He's looking pretty beat up. Uh, the that big guy? No, no, the no. The, I thought the same thing. The big face worn like, guy. I was like, it can take damage. Oh shit! Be careful. Uh, that everybody was protect it? the squirrel. We need that squirrel. <laughs> Those guards are just gonna go by mag. They're back defending the raven tree. Is their thing here? Okay. Um, oh wait, does that end your turn, GW? Yeah, sure. Okay. Maybe I'll fly up a little more, and Clippy's looking behind us. So okay, Clippy's constantly like spinning now. He's my you eyes. See mostly. Um, out there, there's a small group left, but most of them have either charged in, died on the thorns, died in the hailstorm. But there's a few back with, like, wagons and stuff, maybe 400 feet back. Okay. Um, all right. This is Zev. It's your turn now. All these are crossed out. Uh, Eldritch blasts one at each pack of orcs. Okay. I rolled sixes on both of my dice. Uh, Which for a warlock is great, right? <laughs> yeah, roll one more. Uh, let's see. Nine plus four, 13. That doesn't hit these ones with the shields. Well, then shit. So just kind of eldritch blasts as they brace themselves behind their shields. And no effect. Uh, you moving? Or? You should not be fighting. It's <laughs> <laughs> the end of my turn. Okay. Uh Actually, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, I would like to go ahead and push up between Arin and Dern. All right. And you just, you just killed yourself. You're still f- <laughs> 10 feet in, so that just gets you to the edge of the crease. Okay. Um, Kalman was just starting to move across the crease. Yeah, he was he right before it? the crease. So he's just going to dash, and that just gets him across the crease, too. Across the crease. Across the That's crease. That's all he can do. Crease cross. Um, <laughs> crease cross the crease. Crease right, cross the so crease. So it's the face warn's turn. He took more damage, a lot more damage. So he's lost concentration on Moonbeam. Yay! Um, uh, oh, wait, no, I'm not shiny anymore. Oh. You're still shiny because it's sunny. Oh. <laughs> it is going to... Thank you for taking me with you on that journey. <laughs> get up into the squad of orcs there at Dern where he was doing Moonbeam. He can Misty Step as a bonus, so he's going to move his 30 and then Misty Step into uh, adjacent to Dern. I can Misty Step First, as a bonus. First, I need you to make a dexterity great. save, Dern. Oh, because I'm great at those. Actually, no. He's going to make his attacks at you. Aaron, make a dexterity saving throw, which you have advantage on. But So move him um, to Aaron or No. Just, I have okay. advantage? Mm-hmm. Oh. He can do this within okay. 30 feet. Um, uh, 19? 
Okay. There are these magical vines that come up out of the ground and start wrapping around your legs, but you're able to shake them off and kind of move out of the way. You shake them off. Um, shake it off. But he shake makes two off. attacks at you. Um, Dern with his uh, kind of club. It's a 21 and a 22. Yes, both of those hit. How's <laughs> Dern looking? Shiny. On a scale of 1 to 64, it seems about a 50. Oh, he's he's going to take t- first 12 slashing damage. And then he's going to nice take... About 38. Well, that's not as good. <laughs> that's less good. That's a lot less good. Those are too many dice, bud. You need to take about six of those back. Stop. No, no. Don't do the eye Four, thing. 41 oh, no. points of necrotic damage between yeah. the two hits. Dern is unconscious. Dern Ooh. is down. Down Dern. Dern's um, not dead, is he? Dern down. Dern down. Dern, Dern down? down. Dern He's down. not dead dead. <clears throat> Dern down. Not uh, dead. That was yeah. his bonus. Yeah. That was just his bonus? That was his act. No, that's, oh. I'm saying the Misty stuff <laughs> was his bonus. <laughs> that was his multi-attack. And... Okay, uh, so that means it's Kira's turn again. Turn down. Turn down. I know. I'm thinking. Gosh. Turn down. Do deer. <laughs> <laughs> Too far Do for deer. A deer. A female deer. Distance deer. <laughs> a fey wild deer. Fey. Ish. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> <laughs> Let's defend it. I just think, yeah. I did all. F it all. <laughs> I'm tired of saving the world. Why, why are you? Why are you? Are you legit checking? If I Zephyr Strike and Dash, can yeah. I make it there? It's like 8,000 feet of movement. <laughs> yeah. My walking speed would be 60, and then dashing yeah. is 120. Yeah. yeah but then I wouldn't be able to attack. You can be no. anywhere That's you want the to the You can make it there. Okay, I'm going to Zephyr Strike, because I haven't done that in months of real life play. Where do you want to be? By Dern. All right, we'll mark your spell slot, right? Is that... Yep. Okay, uh, that ends your turn, I guess, because that's your bonus action and movement. Yep. All right, uh, Aaron. Hit it's with axe. Turn. You can hit with axe. Hit yes. with axe. There are a number of orcs in front hit of me, you know, three, three or four of them. <laughs> and that is a crit fail. Uh, miss, miss with axe. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. <laughs> uh, that, that one's a uh, 25. That hits with axe. Hit with axe. And it does... Uh, 13, 14, Ooh. 16 points of damage. Of axe damage. So you cleave two, through two of the orcs with that one hit as you take two of them to the ground, leaving just one. Hit with axe! <laughs> leaving just one in that squad. Um, okay. Uh, does that end your turn? Yeah. All right. Trixie. Ooh. Trixie. Ooh. Aim at orcs. Not hit by axe. <laughs> we have... No articles. Okay. Why use more words when less some words, words work? <laughs> <laughs> that one actually works. Why use more words when less words work? Me want to see world. <laughs> oh, Kevin. Whole new world. <laughs> dazzling place. Okay. Now, Kevin, do you want to see the world or do you want to go to see world? So uh-huh. you're shooting at the orcs that did not just get slashed by Aaron. The, the squad, is that what you're doing? Yes. Okay, that uh, would count as sneak attack. I'm debating yeah. shortbow or endless daggers. Who eh. they, who oh no, Dern with? is down. Yeah, Dern down. Dern down, not sneak attack. Didn't yeah. he have 50 points a second ago? Yeah. First hit was for 12, the second one was for 40. <laughs> yeah, that was oh. the necrotic on the hit. Oh. I'm aiming at the one in front of Arn that she's in melee distance with. She's, that's the ones that did get hit with axe then. Oh, they did get hit with axe? <laughs> yes. Oh. If they're close to me, they got hit with axe. Because I thought she rolled a one. She did, and then her second attack. Okay, I didn't hear the second attack because I was looking for my concentration that hat because be somebody moved attack. it off the table again. That would be sneak attack. 
as they are or the one who's left. In case left. anyone's wondering how I'm feeling, I'm feeling about on a scale of one to eighty, I'm feeling thirty. Yeah, I'm about Oof. there too. Go ahead. Yeah, roll a dice. Too. I don't feel short like bow. Eight, eight, at fifty-eight out of 50. twenty-two. That hits. And that's sneak attack. Whoop. Six plus four, so that's ten plus twelve. Yeah. Okay, that takes care of the last orc in that squad. As he drops to the ground right after the his two buddies get hacked with the axes. Uh, anything else Sorry you would like to, to do? Like this. That was just one attack, so I, I can now do a second attack, correct? Mm. No, short bow. You can dash, dodge, or disengage. Or hide. Uh, I'm doing math here in my head. I'm going to fly down by Arn and hide behind her. <laughs> okay. I'm Roll swinging wildly check. with my axe, <laughs> but go ahead. Burn. I'm hiding from the <laughs> other orc things. Okay. Ten plus... Not at 20. Okay. You are hiding uh, behind Arn. All right. Turn, turn. Death save. Zev, Zev not go. Zev not go. Zev not go. He threw two Eldritch Blast. He hit shields. That, that was a turn before, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Nope. Oh, there Long turn. Long, Long turn. Turn. Darn 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 down, not darn turn. Darn down. Darn down. Darn down turn. <laughs> darn not die. Okay. Uh, Yet. All right. Dun, that dun, means dun. it is the one remaining squad of orcs. Uh, turn. They are... I guess going to target randomly between Kira and Zev, who are the closest there. That's Kira. They're nicer than I am. I would hit the guy that's down at my feet. Stop rolling. Mm. That's uh, something. 17, 17, and 15. For what? They're not attacking easy. Kira. Oh, they have to go around to her Matches, first? matches, and no. Well, I said they're going to attack oh, here. I'm sorry. I misunderstood. I can't move anything. Huh? Matches, matches, and no. Because 17, 17, 15. Can yes. Dern take an un- unconscious attack of opportunity? <laughs> Wait, you're with... You can snore at them. You're by, you're by Arin. Yes. Oh. 17 is my AC right now. Oh. Because of my cool bony armor. So that's a total of 12 damage with two slashes across you. All right. That ends their turn. It's Nivara's turn. As she Heck sees them, those orcs slash at you, she's going to attack them <laughs> with a. Do you guys realize when you switch the last sound from bony armor, it's boner army? <laughs> <laughs> what are you on? <laughs> she's tired. Or, it is, or Eva is tired. Maybe that poison, she wasn't quite immune to the poison that went in her throat. <laughs> Think about it. So she no. hits it with a shadow arrow. What's that extra damage? 2d6. Does it make a cool sound? No. Can it's just it? silent where it is. That's yeah. not silent That's only either. 10 damage. And but it's an audio podcast, so it's roll. as silent as it can be. But they have to roll. We have a mute character on here. Yeah. Do we? Yeah, so yo only hey. Deal, <laughs> I only deal 10 points of damage because I rolled like crap. But the shadowy arrow s- sinks into one of the orcs there, taking him out, leaving like two in that squad. And it's GW's turn. I'm gonna I'm gonna cast a firebolt through my weapon of math destruction. Bolt. Okay, to give it a better chance to hit or to add damage. Add damn. Mm, the guy's armor fell off a little bit, right? Red base, not mechanically. Not mechanically. All right, then to hit. <laughs> okay. That's 24 plus 4. <laughs> That's 29. Because of the math, yeah. Math destruction. Yeah, that hits, I'd say. You should have done the other one. I know, I should have. Two. Three. So five, five points of damage. Okay. But they really sink in. Yeah. Yeah, but it's in a real uh, sensitive area with that 29. Ooh, hot. Okay. Uh, does that end your turn? Or do you want to move? Or Can I see how close how close are those wagons are they heading towards us they are not moving all right cool i'm good um zev 
two Eldritch Blasts at the pack of orcs remaining. Okay. And by pack, it's like two orcs. Two the pack. <laughs> uh, let's see. High one is going to be a 17. Low one's going to be a... They both hit. Them. Oh, wait. Well, That's the high one. One hits. Yeah. Okay, so... Six plus four, ten damage. All right, now there is a pack of one orc there as Zev pulls back with el- the Eldritch Blasts. And he pulls back. We should not be one fighting. Goes, <laughs> one goes off a shield, but the other one just careens the guy backwards. Um, anything else, Zev? No, Dern, Dern fell down, so Zev is like, we should totally fight, and you're going to die. <laughs> all right. That's all. Uh, all right, Kalman. Can Kalman get to Dern with 25? Nope. Nope. Yeah. 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 Okay. Never mind. All Sorry. right, Kalman. <clears throat> My mouth. He's not actually going to fit in there, so He's not. I know. I'm just gonna Physics m- are still a thing. I'm going to put him there. Okay. He's next to Darren. But you can pry our Pac-Man mini mm-hmm. for Kalman out of our cold dead hands. <laughs> I think he's going to... Give him a kiss? Why isn't there he's going to attack the face, Warren. Oh. Okay. All right. Why hasn't our flying mage done anything, or has he and I just haven't... He's going to the raven he tree. He went back toward okay. the raven tree. Oh, Kalman. W- one hits, despite the bad roll. Kalman only rolls good rolls. Usually. Is that supposed to be tree? He deals 13 points of damage. So good. To okay. the face worn, and he's going to force him to make a strength save as he has his hammer in repulsing mode. Nine plus. He fails. So Kalman blasts the face worn back ten feet and knocks him prone as his hammer lets out a burst of energy. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So that was cool. Uh, Now it is the face worn's turn. What are you saying? Face sworn. Oh, I heard face one. Face one. The face one. Red the one bay, with the bay face. Red face, face one. <laughs> turn. The turn. enemy who has a face. Okay. Um, he's going to use part of his movement to stand, and then the rest to just charge back to Kalman and smash at him with his uh, mace. I guess we can actually put Kalman here. And he actually had his nature's wrath recharge, so he's going to throw that at... Uh, Aaron again, I guess, which is what he tried to do before. So I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. As with advantage, magic you're within vines. ten feet of Kalman. No, it's plus four within ten feet of Kalman. But, but I get you already advantage because I'm raging, right? Oh, mm-hmm. No, you always have it on dex saves that you can see. That's true, and I always forget. Uh, so I add four to this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, plus your normal dex two. save. Okay. Again, you dance out of the way of those vines. Okay, um, but he's going to take two swings at Kalman. Those are not that good. They both boom into Kalman's armor as he clangs off of it with the mace, but bing, seemingly bing. no effect. Um, so Kalman picks up tanking duties. That was a sucky turn for this guy. He's going to use his... He still has his bonus to Misty Step. Uh, 30 feet back toward the gap in the wall. Yep. Um, we're almost to the bottom here. Kira. Can I take a berry off my laurel, shove it in Dern's mouth, and still move? Yeah, that's just your action, so you still have your movement. Oh, that would be an action? Mm-hmm. Oh. I'll be back, Dern, and I zephyr strike <laughs> <laughs> towards, what's his face? Face one. Okay. And I get an extra 1d8 force damage as I hit him with my short swords. Can you see if you hit him? Use the force. Damage. Damage. 10. Nope. 25. Yes. So that's your offhand. Yep. One. (laughs) But he's taking hits. Mm -hmm. Eight. So nine. (laughs) 10. You don't add anything to the offhand. Nope. Okay. I rolled two ones on my damage. 
So you slash at him as he's trying to run away, uh, it looks like, but he's still up. Anything else? I think that's all I can do right now. Okay, Aaron, it's your turn. You've got, you don't have orcs in front of you anymore. They got cut down. There are some orcs up near Dern, or there's the guy running away, but he's... One orc up near Dern, and one running away. Where's the one running away? The the bad, the Uh, bad, baddie. Um, how far away is he from me? Mm. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, like 40. My movement is 40. It's pretty close. 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, yeah. She can make it. She can make it, yeah. Yeah. Hit with axe. Okay. You get up on him. Yeah. So she's she's got to be. I, yeah, yeah I can just make it up to him. So, um, 17. That just hits. Cool. 12 plus, um, give me a second. <laughs> 19 total. 19 damage? Yep. Yeah. So as you catch up to him and get him in the back, you just slash right across his back and take him out. And he is dead. That's what he gets for trying to run away. That's right. I'm going to go loot his body. All right. Uh, does that end your turn? Um, I mean, I have another axe attack, but I don't have anyone to hit. So Just Don't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Next to Kira. Don't hit me. <laughs> Kira sees me like eyeing her sideways. Like, I don't want to waste this attack. Like, I know you're yeah. raging, but don't hit me. All right. Trixie, it's your turn. It, there's one more. Up, one right? orc left. Um... Get him. Endless daggers. Pew, pew. You're going to have to move a little bit toward him to not be at disadvantage, but definitely you could do that, like near Zev. Yeah. 17 plus 7, so 24. That hits. One. And then 17 for the next. Okay, they both hit, and this guy's... Your minimum damage is going to kill him with both hitting. Because I rolled a 4 plus 4 plus 1 on one hit. Two daggers uh, into his side, and he drops down to the ground. He is dead. Cool. Okay. Um, All of you scan around. Well, we're still going to stay in the initiative because Dern's turn is next, and he's unconscious. Natural 20. I stabilize. Oh, you're stable. Okay. (laughs) Dern stands up so he can say, thanks for the help, guys. In that amount of time, Mag is going to come over. Um and and heal. If I got a nat twenty, I stabilize with one HP, right? No, no, it's just, just with zero. zero. Okay. stable. Uh, so that's six healing that you'll take from Mag for the moment. Thanks for sharing our date night with us and exploring a whole new world together. We'll see you again next week. Until then, keep in touch by following us on Twitter at Date Night Podcast or visiting d 8 nightpodcastcom 